Most of the Minecraft community is in agreement that we need an end update. It's something that's brought up all of the time these days, but what isn't talked about as often is what actually needs to be in an end update, or what the end needs to make it a properly fleshed out dimension. And while seeing as Minecraft Live is right around the corner and there's a fair chance that the next update might be an end update, I think now's a good time to talk about this. So today we're going to dive into what needs to be in an end update. Now first, having easier travel between the end and the overworld is a must. After defeating the Ender Dragon, it's just sort of an unnecessary hassle having to go all the way to the stronghold, then all the way across the center end island, then through the gateway, and then out to whatever destination you have in the outer isles. What this current system does is discourage players from spending time in the end in setting up bases there. On the flip side, if we want to encourage players to set up bases in the end and spend more time there, what we need is a quicker and easier way to travel between specific points in the end and overworld. Basically, like what players can do with nether portals, but for the end. Perhaps since the end is a more remote dimension, these portals could only be set up at specific structures that are found relatively commonly throughout the outer end aisles. Then players could still have that easier access if they decide to make their base next to one of the portal structures. And moving on, let's talk about the end's challenge factor. You probably haven't heard this before, but one of the things that makes the end such an unappealing and uninteresting dimension is the fact that it has no factor of challenge. Outside of the Ender Dragon fight on the main isle, the only challenge you might bump into on the outer isles is Endermen that can also be found in every other dimension, so they're not a unique challenge, and also they can just be avoided by wearing a pumpkin or just not looking at them. And end cities don't really pose a real risk either if you just drink a slow falling potion or have an elytra already. Really, the most likely way that you're going to die in the end is falling into the void, but even still, that's not really a challenge. But now look at other dimensions. The overworld has challenge in the form of its various structures like the trial chambers and illager structures, and also, of course, nighttime. And then the Nether has challenges in the forms of the Nether Fortress and the Bastion and other mobs that you can just encounter in there. This helps to keep the dimensions extra engaging for those who want that challenge. That being said, the Ender isn't really supposed to be as hostile of an environment as the Nether, but still it could benefit from some more challenge, maybe if it's even just optional. For example, adding new structures around the end aisles with hostile mobs in them. Even just this, although it might not seem like much, can really make the end as a dimension a whole lot more intriguing. On that note of challenges and hostile mobs though, another thing that really needs to be in an end update is a way for the player to set their spawn in the end allowing players to fully base themselves in the end dimension just like they can with the nether after the nether update. This could be done with something like the respawn anchor, but just for the ender instead, or maybe beds could finally work in the end. Although, if we do want to make the end into an environment that the player can spend a lot of time in and maybe even live in, there are of course some other necessities, the same types of necessities that we saw added to the nether in the nether update so that players could live in the nether if they wanted to. There would need to be some new kind of wood type or tree in the end. In addition to this, another food source that doesn't teleport you like chorus fruit does would be nice. And of course some kind of ore in the end, whether that be already existing or is just brought over to the dimension. Or perhaps an entirely new one like enderite that has been requested for so long. And speaking of things generating in the end, let's talk about terrain generation. One of the other things about the end that just makes it so plain and boring is the terrain generation. It's just flat islands all on the same Y level for pretty much all of eternity. There is very little variation. It's honestly quite possible that the terrain generation that we saw for the potato dimension in the April Fools update 
could be something that Mojang is testing for the end, which would be great because that terrain generation was much better than the current terrain generation that we have in the end. That being said, there would be a problem that would come with that new kind of terrain generation, with there being different layers and levels of islands like that, exploring would be a lot more difficult, especially before the player gets an elytra and if they don't have rockets. Some alternative way of transportation isn't a must-have, but it would be a very good thing to have. Perhaps something like the grappling hook that we also saw in the Potato April Fools update, or maybe something that functions sort of like a jetpack. Just something to make scaling those horizontal heights a bit less tedious. And of course, as part of this new terrain generation, the end desperately needs new biomes. But I want to quickly talk about here that I've seen a lot of people make the argument that the end shouldn't be updated because it's supposed to be desolate and empty, and that it's just kind of supposed to have that vibe. But here's what I'd argue. An atmosphere of emptiness and desolation doesn't need to equal lack of content, neither does it need to equal boredom. Mojang could absolutely maintain the end's current sort of atmosphere and vibe if they update it. Adding things like new mobs and biomes doesn't need to harm it at all, it just depends on how Mojang goes about the process. But then again, the end is sort of a blank canvas right now, so they really could go just about any direction that they want to with it. Now, with that out of the way, we really only have two more necessities for an end update here. One of those just being, in general, more unique loot and rewards in the end. This would of course likely come with the new biomes and structures and mobs to sort of incentivize the player to actually see these new areas in the end. Now, the last thing here might be a bit controversial, but maybe there should be some kind of way to survive falling in the void or at least keep some of your items, because permanently losing everything just for one small slip up does feel like a bit of an extreme for Minecraft, especially if people are going to be spending more time in this dimension, they are likely going to be falling into the void a lot more. In fact, the void could be one of the things scaring people away from going to the end. Perhaps this could work something like the mod that adds a Totem of Void Undying, where if you fall into the void, instead of just dying, you will be teleported back up to the island that you fell from if you are holding the totem in your hand. This would of course consume the totem and you would lose a lot of health. But that is all I have for you today, so I hope to see you in the next one, and for now, goodbye.